Hi, my name is Jenny Schneider, and I'm the current AmeriCorps NJ Watershed Ambassador with Hackensack Riverkeeper. Today, I'm going to teach you all about our watershed, because the first step in being a great watershed steward is learning more about your local environment. You may be wondering, well, what is a watershed? As this image indicates, it is the making of a river. But how? Well, drainage is driven by precipitation and gravity. So watersheds are an area of land based on topography where all of the water that is under it or drains off of it collects into a common body of water such as the Hackensack River. As you can see in this image, that means a watershed includes not only natural areas like forests and wetlands, but it also includes everything we as humans add to the drainage basin, such as homes, roads, factories, farms, and more. The DEP categorizes watersheds similar to how within our country, there are states, counties, and towns. First, there are five watershed regions. Hackensack Riverkeeper is located within the Northeast region. Then, watersheds are categorized further into 20 watershed management areas. I am the watershed ambassador for number five. Each of the 20 watershed management areas has its own watershed ambassador. And fun fact, the New Jersey Watershed Ambassador Program is celebrating its 20th anniversary this year. You can learn more about our program and the current ambassadors on our website. So now I'd like to tell you a bit more about WMA5. It includes three watersheds, including the Hackensack River, the Paskak Brook, and the Hudson River watersheds. Despite its relatively smaller drainage area to other WMAs in New Jersey, it is the most densely populated. More people means more stress on our waterways from human activity. Since my AmeriCorps host agency is Hackensack Riverkeeper, we're gonna focus on the Hackensack River watershed. It starts in Rockland County, New York with Lake Lucille and Lake DeForest, and then flows through North, <laughs> and then flows through Northeastern Bergen and Hudson counties. Reservoirs make up the first two water districts. The Paskek Brook, a tributary of the Hackensack River, used to flow directly into the river, but it was dammed to form the Wycliffe Lake Reservoir. The Hackensack River was also impounded to form Lake DeForest, Lake Tapan, and the Oroldo Reservoir. Over 1 million residents in New York and New Jersey depend on these four reservoirs for drinking water. Below the Oroldo Reservoir Dam, the river becomes tidal and slightly brackish. The further downriver you go, the saltier the water gets, especially once you're within the Meadowlands District. The Hackensack Meadowlands is a critical estuary that is home to more than 700 plant and animal species, including several rare and threatened species. Both water districts are critically important for wildlife, flood control, and recreation. From the Meadowlands District, the Hackensack River drains out into the Newark Bay. The Passaic River, which is part of WMA number four, also drains out into the Newark Bay. By preventing pollution from entering and harming our watersheds, we also prevent pollution from ever going into the Atlantic Ocean. Now that you have a greater understanding of the Hackensack River watershed, let's figure out the exact sub-watershed that you live in, also known as your watershed address. We're going to use NJ GeoWeb a free interactive web, mapping app, web mapping application that the NJDEP created. This is the main page of NJ GeoWeb, and from this profile list on the left, I recommend selecting ambient water monitoring for our purposes of finding out our watershed address. For this tutorial, I chose to enter into the search bar Hackensack Riverkeeper's office address, which is 231 Main Street in Hackensack. But of course, you can put in your home address, your school address, click search, and then this blue circle with a red X over it resembles your address search. So over here in base layers on the left, I selected in the water category streams, category one waters and water bodies because we obviously all live and work and go to school in different parts of watershed management area five so i recommend selecting all possible water bodies so that you can see what is near you on the map 
and I can zoom out with this magnifying glass with a minus symbol in the center of it. And it's quite obvious just from the map that Hackensack Riverkeeper's office is very close to the Hackensack River. But I still want to find out my exact sub watershed name or HUC14, which stands for hydrologic unit code with 14 digits. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to zoom out even further so I can see the boundaries of this sub watershed. So the boundaries of this sub watershed is pretty large. So to find out the exact information, I need to make the layer active and it shows that it's active with this green check mark. So you can either hover over the right side of these tabs until you see this gear symbol, click it for the drop down menu and select make layer active or go up here to active layer, click on the drop down menu and you can scroll and search for exactly what you're looking for. So we have sub watersheds or HUC14 already selected. The final step here is to go to the right tab and click the identify button, which is just a circle with an eye inside of it. And then I'm gonna go over and select or click the exact spot that I want my sub watershed name for. So then this attribute table pops up and it tells me exactly what my sub watershed name is along with my watershed region and watershed management area. So as we see here, the sub watershed name or watershed address of Hackensack Riverkeeper's office is the Hackensack River from Fort Lee Road to the Oradell Gauge. So I can use my drag pan to look and see exactly where the Fort Lee Road ends on this map and scroll up to see exactly where the Oradell Gauge ends. So every boundary you see here is a different sub watershed within WMA5. So if I turn off my natural imagery, it'll be easier for you all to see all of the different creeks, streams, and brooks that are tributaries of the greater Hackensack River watershed. I hope that you're now able to find your own watershed address with NJGOWeb. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at ambassador at hackensackriverkeeper.org. Thank you so much for taking the time to get to know your watershed better, and I hope that you can visit your watershed address very soon.